and how you're doing. This is my review of Scream 6. Matt Battinelli Olkin returning to direct this film as he done with Scream 5. This film having a top casting of Jenna Ortega, Melissa Barrera, Hayden Panettiere, Samara Weaving, Jack Champion, Courtney Cox, Mason Gooding, Liana Liberato, Josh Sagara, Jasmine Savoy-Brown, Devin Nakoda, Dermot Mulroney and Tony Revolori. Four survivors of the Ghostface murders leave Woodsboro for a fresh start in New York City. They soon find themselves fighting for their lives once again as a new killer is on a rampage. Boy, they really stepped it up this time. Compared to the last one, this one is brutal. I was very excited but also very anxious to see if they could match the quality of last year's Scream. This film not only continues the quality of the Scream franchise, but this film alone it feels kind of unique. This instalment has so much more blood and gore than the previous and I'm glad it does to be honest because the motive behind this film is revenge. And of course I had to binge watch 1 to 5 again just to get that nostalgia and that adrenaline pumping for this film. This is easily the most tense entry since the 1996 original. Um, that's why I would put this one second on the list after the original. We get lots more bloodshed and some brutal killings, but what's great about this film is that it doesn't feel worn or tired, like even though that this is the sixth instalment of the franchise. I thought the change of scenery from Woodsboro to New York was a very good idea. Um, I felt like the overcrowded city really helped the mystery of who the killer could be. We also got to see the relationship between Tara and Sam build up as well, um, which really needed some TLC after the last film. Of course we see Courtney Cox return as Gail and although her time on screen was limited, she very nearly became a victim of Ghostface. I'm glad she didn't die because it would have felt like she was more collateral damage for Sam's actions from the last film. I feel that if she had died it wouldn't have felt as personal and it probably would have angered a lot of fans. Although on the other hand, it would have made sense for this legacy character to die because it would have made a bigger impact on the story. We also see Hayden return as Kirby and development wise her character is now a part of the FBI um, and helps support the core four in this film. I felt like her presence in this film didn't really draw attention away from the core four which was really good to see. People were wondering if Scream 6 would be able to shine without Sydney and Dewey and in my opinion I think it did. Um, the cast were able to carry the film the entire way through. There has been some speculation if there is going to be a Scream 7. Um, the way that this film has taken off and how popular it's got, it would be a total loss if they didn't. But the way that they left this film, it might be a bit hard for them to do a Scream 7, but I am really interested to see what they do and where they go with this franchise. If you have seen it, I'd love to know your thoughts and feelings about the film in the comments below. And I just want to say a big thank you for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. So until next time, take care.